Hey there, world travelers. Hey there. I'm Tanya. And I'm Dave. And we are Turn It Up World. Welcome back to Mexico City! our second day here in Mexico City. We had an amazing day yesterday. You should definitely check it out. Uh, we checked out all the best street food places across Mexico City and we challenged ourselves yes. to $10, $10 only a piece. $10 a piece, that's it. That's exactly, that's it, to see, see what we could eat. And I tell you, we had an awesome time. It, it was, so was much fun. fantastic. Yes. Really just going around exploring the different parts of Mexico City and some of the best street foods. The difficult part was the challenge. The best part was the food and the people. Yeah, the people were awesome. Oh my the gosh. food was amazing. Yes. Oh. So today, let me just tell you this. So one of the places yesterday was a fantastic churro place. And the place we went to yesterday called El Muro was the starting point of it all, which was I think around 19, early 1930s. So today we are kicking things off with high energy. Mm. And for breakfast, we're <laughs> gonna have churros. churros. Except this time, we're gonna be making churros. So we're heading into Mexico, the city center of Mexico City to meet up with, well, he calls himself a top pastry chef here in Mexico City. So we're going to his establishment where we will be making mm. those delicious pieces yeah. of art. Okay, so we finally made it here. We are getting ready to uh, walk into the cafe, which is called Barola's Cafe Fusion. And we're going to have a amazing little session with our chef, Ricardo. Yeah, looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. So we need to get in there because I think they're looking at us right now that we need to make a move. <laughs> World. It's all about technique. It's all about technique. The process is underway. Dave's starting off the uh, the first ingredient, which is the condensed yeah, milk. While he has yeah. some rocking music playing in the background, it's oh, yeah. pretty intense. No, that so almost looks balls. like a caramelly kind of cream already. It's a caramel kind of rock. Yeah. Now, next up is the milk itself. Milk Ready? itself. <laughs> <laughs> next up is the mixer. There we go. Tana's gonna do the mixing. It's all about technique. Nice form. 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 Cracking the egg, just putting in while you're oh, mixing right, it. Got it. You, go. you gotta beat that biatch. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah. 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 This will get a nice creamy yeah. texture. Yeah. Yeah. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but it sounds great. Like this? Like this? Like this? More close to the orange. Yes, please. Oh my god. It's gonna be an ugly churro. <laughs> a little more close. Oh, that's good. Wait, it's like moving. Like Christian, it. I need some help it's here. It's about to be a circle. It's running from you. Okay, so let's turn on the other. That's the extra crunchy. Okay. Extra crunchy. <laughs> We got 
G U. Goo. 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 Nice job. How was that? Oh, that was good. Yeah, I didn't get the whole guy on that one. <laughs> Look at that masterpiece. Good job, everybody here. Team Chura. In all the excitement, we forgot to try them on camera for you guys, but dang, those churros were tasty, but maybe a little overboard on the sugar. <laughs> It's a beautiful day here in Chapultepec Park in Mexico City. And uh, we're now at Puerto Chico, which is a lake uh, in the middle of the park where you can rent boats. Yeah. And you can actually, you can get a two person boat, a uh, paddle boat for 60 pesos. Yes. You can get a four person paddle boat for 100 pesos. Yeah. And if, uh, if you want to row yourself, you can get a rowboat for four for 100 pesos. Yeah, you and can then, even get a five yeah, person. Yeah, five person for 120 pesos. Yeah. So it's for an hour. And anyway, these are all for hour time frame. So it's actually quite a bit of time. I'm not sure we want to do it today. It's pretty hot, pretty hot. in the sun. So I don't know, people are out there paddling in the bright sunshine. It looks really nice, but yes. I do see a lot hanging out on the shady spark yes. you know, of the lake. And so. I didn't really put any sunblock on today, so I think I'm gonna let the folks out there enjoy that, but it is definitely something you can do yes. if you come to Chapultepec Park, and it's not that costly. I mean, Jesus, no. 100 pesos oh, yeah. is like $5. Exactly, no, so it's for an hour. For an amazing. hour, it's amazing. And one of the things I'm noticing here, we're in like a ocean wave of shops. Oh yeah, they got everything for everything you have. want, everything you don't want. Yes, All and everything there. you think you don't want and you might need. Exactly. You gotta just talk to someone, they'll convince you you need it. Exactly, and if you don't talk to them, they will talk to you. They seem to be coming right out there. Oh, yeah. No problems trying to sell their products to you. There's so much going on here from the Lucha Libra masks oh, to everywhere. food, to trinkets, to gadgets, to shoes, to clothes. My gosh, there's just so much here, you can't miss it. And there's gotta be over 100 stalls here. Oh my God. Hey, you can even jog. <laughs> you can see all the paddle boats out there. That little swan boat, and Tani is trying to skip some rocks. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh. So we are back trying to regroup before heading out for tonight's main event. We are heading to one of the most famous I guess you can say events here in Mexico City. Hey, what's that? The Lucha Libre wrestling <laughs> event. And we here can be obnoxious, fun, crazy, exciting. Yes, all of those. But we also hear that you cannot bring any sort of video recording yeah, equipment. No, no, except your cameras. Except your cameras on your phones. Absolutely. I think we're going to make some uh, masks too. Oh, yes. Right? That's like the really cool thing. Yes. So before we actually get to the event, we're going to be making our own masks. So I don't know how cool my mask is gonna be. It could be one of the ugliest masks you've ever <laughs> seen, but you know what? It's all made with love. <laughs> Uglier the better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a really quick room tour before heading out the door. So we're, let's start in the bathrooms. It's right here. It's got a really nice, I mean, modern shower. Um, and I will tell you this, there's a doorman that you have downstairs, so it makes you feel a little bit more safe. But it's nice granite countertops, which is really nice. I love like the tiling floor. It's just really well thought out little place here. It's not even that expensive. I don't quite remember how much it is a night, but this, I'll probably put that somewhere in the description. Here's our little kitchen. So it's really kind of cute. It's a gas range, four burner oven here, which is neat. Bake your cookies, everything else. Silverware, plates, have these really cute bowls in here. A little refrigerator, which is just all you need. You know, you don't necessarily need a, a giant one here. And they give you a couple little things in here. Looks like they're up. Looks like they knew we were coming. Mmm, carronas. <laughs> and a little water. So, all right. This is really neat, guys. So this is gonna, this is kind of our sitting area uh, here where we're gonna be doing work later on. But look at this. 
This is ridiculous. This is amazing. So if you can see off into the distance over there, there's some mountains. And if you kind of come over this direction here, that's Chapultepec Castle. That's amazing. It's like right here. We have this view. And if you look down, that's traffic. So just come with me really quick. It's raining and that's, you know, the price you pay. You get the little cooler air this time of year, but it's raining. But this is a huge, hi, hey, hey, I'm way over here. How are you? So this is, this is it. This is amazing. Coming out here, you can sit in the morning, have your coffee, listen to all the traffic as it goes by. <laughs> but look at that traffic. Look now that's traffic. what we're talking about. Exactly. Welcome to Mexico City. <laughs> but you know what? Thank you guys. We just wanted to give you a really quick room tour. I think that's it. It's not that big. It's almost like, it really is almost like a little studio. Yeah. Should we show them the bedroom? Oh, yeah. I got so <laughs> Who needs a bedroom? I got so excited about the, uh, the balcony there. <laughs> hey, here's the bedroom. It's just a queen size that you get there, two closets. Um, you also get more double doors that lead you out to the balcony here. A same thing here, just like another balcony. But what's interesting, what's interesting about this balcony is it's kind of shared with the neighbor. So I don't know how much we're gonna use in this one, but the neighbor's apartment is right there, so. We could jump over and join them for the yeah, party. Yeah, no thanks. Or they could do it. <laughs> no thanks. There's internet, it's Wi-Fi, high speed, she said, and we can watch just about whatever we want, our Netflix, which we do love, as well as YouTube, which we do love. So that's it, guys. I mean, it's a little cute, quaint place here. It's got a really comfortable feel, and it's not even that expensive, so that's it. So when you first walk in here, you have to kind of choose your mask. Do you have chose too? I don't know who's going to be prettier or who's going to be uglier, but well, you know what? A mask is a mask. I know I'm not going to be prettier. So. Well, that's and the more beer I drink, the prettier it will look. Fun time in this mask, lashes. Look at Dave's mask. I mean, it's, yeah, it is it's, definitely, it is uh, definitely uh, you know, it's, it's a little bit, uh, little bit Neanderthal. It's almost like Deadpool. It's a little Deadpool like. Yeah, it's, it's like the futuristic Deadpool mask. <laughs> <laughs> neighborhood of Mexico City and I gotta say it's really really nice it's we really nice. we heard it's up and coming we've been in you know spent more time in Condesa uh, and Roma Norte, and Roma Norte, Norte nice as one. well uh, but this is really I really like Juarez a lot of great restaurants and yeah, little quirky shops well, and you know, right? art galleries yeah and it's definitely definitely up and coming I know we read how back in 1985 yeah. they had this devastating earthquake that really devastated the area yeah but it is it's nice hey look at that this thing still works wow it's an actual telephone nah, system. I don't hear nope. anything. I think that's. I think it's that, dead. I don't think it necessarily works. What is this thing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> really cool 
cool that we noticed down here is we're walking along. There's all these really amazing painted skulls. They're, they almost remind me of a Tim Burton movie, you know, that kind of artistic design, uh, just really neat. Now, I'm not sure if this may have something to do with the fact that Dia de Muerte is coming up soon, um, and it's just kind of something to symbolize that, because it kind of has that feel, but it's just a really cool piece of art. We're probably gonna try and capture some cool photos here. This is really, really cool. We are actually starving. Oh my God. For, for the grand finale here in this Mexico City tonight, we're at a place called La Casa del Toño. And we actually got this place from several locals that told us we need to try it. Now, it is somewhat of a chain, but it's sort of like a cafeteria style food. Yeah, and they yes. had some really great dishes. Exactly, they got the great uh, pozole. Yes, right? pozole. It's supposed to be really good. And it's 24 seven, so it's to be right. very good food uh, at a you know great value. So we want to give it a shot. We actually probably should have gone here yesterday. Yeah, I know. Our, we, we, we could have right? actually saved the budget. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we ordered this dish. Oh my gosh. It's, um, it's uh, what is it? The pozole with yeah, the yeah, which yeah. has a pork. It's all the great uh, onions and things that go along with it. It's really interesting. It's like a huge bowl. So there's two options you could have chosen. You could have chosen the small one or you could have chosen the large one. We went up with the large because we are really hungry. And of course, and plus the large is so much bigger, and if you look at the price, the small is 58 pesos, and the large is 63 pesos. So for five more pesos, you get practically double the size of the small, so. Yes, and if you're wondering where the menus are, let me show you. Yeah, they're right, right down, down on the, the table. table. Yeah. <laughs> We're kind of like inside encasing glass here, right on the yes. table. That about does it for us and futuristic Deadpool <laughs> over here. Oh yeah, I'm ready for bed. It's been a long day. It's been day. a long day. We had a lot of fun. We made some really cool masks, oh, yeah. as you can see. Um, yeah, it was awesome. Mexico City always brings the energy. We had a great time being back here for sure. And if you have not already, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you get a every time we post something new and exciting. Thanks again for joining us and Futuristic Deadpool, and we look forward to seeing you on the road. <laughs>